And now to another big story we're following for you. What court watchers are describing as a major win for lawyers prosecuting pop star Michael Jackson and a sharp turn for his child molestation trial. A judge says evidence from prior sexual molestation allegations against the singer will be allowed in his current trial. MSNBC's Jennifer London has been following all the today's developments for us. She joins us live outside the courthouse with the latest. So that's the headline, Jennifer. Fill us in on the rest of the information. Well, Allison, lots to tell you about happening here in Santa Maria. First, let's bring our viewers up to speed on today's testimony. Testifying earlier today, comedian George Lopez arriving here at the courthouse as only a Hollywood celebrity can. He showed up in a white stretch limo followed by a small entourage of people. Lopez called as a prosecution witness. He testified today that he met the accuser in 1999 at a comedy camp and he befriended the young boy. He said that when the accuser fell sick with cancer, he did go to see at the hospital and Lopez said that it was actually the boy's father who repeatedly asked for mother and not the boy's uh, asked for money rather and not the boy's mother. Now this testimony supports prosecution uh, testimony earlier last week from comedian Louise Palenker who said the same thing. On the stand right now is George Lopez's wife. Earlier today a critical ruling from the judge, Judge Rodney Melville, saying the prosecution can call witnesses and introduce evidence related to prior allegations against Michael Jackson, a ruling some legal experts say may hurt the defense. The trial here will have many trial after many trial as to other offenses. It'll be significantly longer, but it's significantly different than what we had last week or in the beginning of this trial up until last Friday. This is now a trial about pattern evidence, about propensity, and once a pedophile, always a pedophile. The jury will hear testimony from one alleged victim who the prosecution says was molested by Jackson in 1990. That accuser settled with Jackson for $2.4 million and that, uh, no charges were ever filed. Allison, it is possible the prosecution may start calling witnesses related to the prior allegations sometime later this week.